So now we are going to discuss about the Francis serpent. So you have to pay attention how to write the sketch properly. That is the first thing that you have to pay attention because so in mechanical engineering, so the maximum marks are 50 to 60 percent of the marks. The weightage will be given for the sketches. The remaining 40 percent of the marks will be given for your explanation. So that's why writing a schematic sketch is very important. Okay. So all of you please pay focus on how to write the sketch. So what is this? It is a Francis Turner. So this is the outermost casing. See now I am starting with the casing. Earlier case I started with the shaft, road So now I am starting with the casing. Next I am going to write the road Okay, so this is a road At the center we will be having a Okay. So this is the spiral casing. What is this? Spiral, spiral casing. And here we have a stationary blades of the there. So outside this, we have a stationary blades. So these are the stationary blades. So whatever the yellow color I written now, so that represents the stationary blades. Stationary blades. And this rotor is also having the blades. So these are the representation of the blades, which is mounted on a rotor. Rotor means what? It is going to rotate, right? This is a rotor, and this is the shaft, and these are called as moving. Blades, moving blades, and these are the stationary blades. Is it clear? So this is a sectional view. What is the meaning of sectional view? Say so to study the internal part of the machine, we are going to take a section. That means we are going to cut the machine at the required position, and we are going to study what actually there is inside. So that's why it is called as what sectional. So this is sectional top view. What is the meaning of sectional top view means? So object will be there and we are going to look from the top. So that's why this is called as what? Sectional top view. And for this we have a front view also there. So as we done in the boilers, right? So we have done the front view, top view and side view. So here we are going to write the front view and top view. So this is the top view. Now how to write the front view? See exactly here. So this is a reference line. So this is the cross section of this entry. And here I am going to write. So this is the cross section of this spiral casing. Spiral casing. See you have to observe. So this is the entry. The Diameter of the circle is large. Yes or no? So here the uh, diameter of the cross section is less. So that means from entry to the exit, the cross section of the casing is decreasing. Are you able to understand? From the entry, this is the entry of the water, and the cross section area, so this area is going to decrease from entry to exit. So this is you have to take a precaution. Is it clear? So next what we have? We have a stationary blades. So this is the representation of stationary blades. And this is the rotor. And this is the shaft. So what we have? In the center what we have? Shaft. So this is the and blade are, blades are connected. So these are the blades. Is it clear? So 
So this is the center axis. And we have a draft tube. What is the meaning of draft tube? I will take it like. So this is a draft tube. We can't see the dotted line in the So what are the dotted line I represented? So this is a draft tube. This is a draft tube. What is this? Shaft. These are stationary blades. What is this? This is a spiral casing. So these are moving blades. Is it clear? So this is the why I am going to shade like this? That represents that is a cross section. Okay? So this is a cross sectional front view and this is the what kind of serpent is this? This is a Francis German. So this is how we have to write the sketch within very few minutes. So if you know the working of it, it will be easy to write the sketch. Is it clear? And now let us come back to the main important statement. Statement. So you have to explain what type of turbine is this. So this is the mixed flow. This is a mixed flow reaction turbine requires medium head. Requires medium head and large quantity of water. I'm going to write it. What type of turbine is this? This is a mixed flow reaction. This is a mixed flow reaction turbine requires medium head and large quantity of so whereas in the case of pentan wheel what type of turbine was that tangential flow impulse impulse turbine requires high head less quantity of so here it is it requires high quantity of high head sorry medium head high quantity of or large quantity of I think large quantity is better word large quantity of this is a very important statement that you have to underline and you are going to get two marks is it clear so next one is construction it consists of a spiral casing it consists of what spiral casing where the cross section of the spiral is going to decrease from entry to the exit. Gradually it is going to decrease. And it consists of a stationary blade. Stationary blade which is mounted to the case. And the shaft and the rotor assembly is mounted on a shaft displaced in the center of the spiral casing as shown in the sketch. That's it. So that is about the construction. So next one is water. So what is the working? Water from penstock. So water which is stored in the penstock, it will be passed to the turbine through a penstock. And enters the spiral casing in a radial way. It is going to enter the casing in a spiral way. That is what for us. That is the use of spiral casing. The water is going to enter radially. So with the help of these blades, this blades is going to give the direction to the water. Okay? It is going to give the direction to the water. This high jet of water. Okay? This high jet of water or high flow of water enters the rotor. Enters the rotor. And leaves the rotor axially. So this is a turbine. So this is a draft tube where water exits. How the water is exiting? Axially. That means it is parallel to the rotation of shaft. Are you able to understand? The water is going to enter radially and it is going to leave the rotor axially. So that's why it is called as what type of turbine? Mixed flow reaction turbine. So this 
so due to this the reactive force will be generated on the blades and hence the rotor is going to rotate and the shaft which is connected is going to rotate so this is how we are going to convert the potential energy or kinetic energy of the water to mechanical energy Atanya, so I am going to repeat once again please pay attention so first you have to write the sketch properly I started writing with the spiral casing then I have written the rotor and the shaft and the stationary plates and all okay so here you have to make sure that the cross section area of the spiral casing is going to decrease from entry to the exit so that you have to show in the front view as well as in the top so this is a sectional front view and this is a sectional top the representation of the plate Okay, so the first important sentence that carries two marks. What kind of turbine is this? So this is a mixed flow reaction turbine. Requires medium and and large quantity of two marks. You got two marks. Next one is construction part. It consists of a spiral casing with where the process cross section area gradually decreases. Okay. And also on the uh, stationary blades are mounted to the case. And the rotor shaft assembly is mounted inside the casing as shown in the sketch. Is it clear? So next one is working. The water from the reservoir flows to the turbine through tensions. Okay. Water enters the spiral casing. And and uh, the it is going to give. I mean, this stationary blades is going to give the direction to the water. Water enters radially. Okay. Water enters radially to the rotor and leaves axially and leaves axially through drag tube. Due to this, it is going to generate the reactive force on the rotor, resulting in rotation of. So this is how we are going to convert the kinetic energy of the water to the mechanical energy. So this is the explanation that we have to write for Francis Turner. I hope you understood.